Here we go. All ones. Okay, today we're going to make an Alfredo sauce, Cajun style. You'll need chicken. I seasoned this chicken in blackened seasoning. You'll need some garlic. I usually use five to however many I have in there right now. Andouille sausage, which I've cut into buttons and quartered. Tasso, which I've chopped up really small pieces. Tasso is a Cajun seasoned ham made from a pork shoulder, not a pork leg. Heavy whipping cream. Cajun seasoning. Salt, but if you're using Tony Saturay's Creole seasoning and not your homemade like I do, don't put the salt in because Tony Saturay's has a lot. Parsley, I usually use fresh parsley, but I'm out. Trinity, Trinity is one onion, one bell pepper, and I use two celery stalks in here that I cut really, really tiny. You kind of see how, how small that is. You'll need Parmesan cheese. Um, I think that is six ounces of cheese. All right, so we have a skillet over here with some oil that's heated up. I'm gonna throw my chicken in. Hold on. All right, now I got two hands on this. Make sure I got, yeah, I got the skillet in there. So you cook your chicken. Throw that in the sink. Get it going really good. Make sure you cook your chicken all the way through. You don't want that chicken funk. And this will also get that uh, blackened seasoning to get the flavor inside the meat that you really want, which you really, really want in your food. All right, I'm gonna let this cook and I'll come back to you guys. All right, so we've got this going a little, chicken's almost done, so I'm gonna take the uh, tasso and the andouille sausage. Throw that in there. Man, if we had smell vision right now, you would be dying. Fix my, fix my apron here. All right. So you really just want enough. The Capasso and the Andouille are already cooked, so you just kind of get a little release their oils a little bit, get that flavor out of them. So you don't really need to cook them all that much. And they'll cook more inside the uh, sauce itself. All right. We're just about there. Now check this out. Just enough to release the flavors in this. That's okay. There we go. We got all the meat there. And I used one chicken breast and two links of andouille. And about one country rib worth of tasso. Alright. So look at that. Oh yeah. That's gonna be good. Alright, here's where the magic begins. I got my Magnolite pot. I got a little bit of oil in here that's heating up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over here, take the Trinity. Throw that in there. We're going to be cooking this one quite a bit. Make sure I get all of those, all those veggies out of there. Now, make sure you don't put your garlic in just yet. You want to make sure this cooks down really, really good. I like these Magnolites. They're aluminum. So they don't need to be seasoned, and they uh, heat retain heat like a cast iron. And no, they are not poisonous. That is a urban legend. This one I got, I time traveled back to the 1960s to get. So one of the tricks here to do to get your vegetables to saute down, throw a little salt in. 
This will help all the vegetables kind of cook down a little better, get more translucent. For this, I want to really want to cook them down so they're almost, you'll, you'll see, like beyond, a little beyond the translucent stage. So I'm, I'm going to cook these down and I'll come back and show you. Okay, we're back. You can see the vegetables in there, or, or Trinity is getting cooked down pretty good. So right before it's done, what you want to do is you add your garlic over here. And I got a little garlic press that I like to use. So why you do this is so you don't burn your garlic. If you burn your garlic, it gets uh, bitter. And you don't want to. You don't want that in your food. I like a lot of garlic in my Alfredo. There we go, that's, that's a ton of garlic. Oh, that's got garlic all over my kitchen. All right, so over here. Now you start cooking this down until you really start smelling the garlic. That's when you know it's done. This is about where all the magic starts happening. Oh yeah. Mmm. You see how everything is kind of translucent? You want those flavors. It's gonna add like a almost a sauce to your uh, your dish, your Alfredo. This is this is where most of the most of the flavor comes from. Alright. So I'm gonna go over here, throw the meat in. Mix that up a bit. See so what that looks like. That's the tasso and gooey sausage and chicken. Mm, man, this just smells so good. Once you really get that mixed together, well, you put in your whipping cream. Heavy, uh, heavy cream. Heavy cream. I like to use the heavy whipping cream. You can use any kind of cream, really. Just kind of... Man, I should have... Can't open this. There we go. <laughs> Over here, I'm going to turn down the heat. I have it on a medium heat right now. Kind of turn it down to a medium low. You really see how thick that heavy cream is. That's really going to add a lot to your to your Alfredo. You know, you make sure it mixes around. Get some of that blackened seasoning off the chicken in there. So you really get it mixed up. All right. Now we throw in actually not the cheese, but the seasoning. Cajuns don't do unseasoned food. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw a little bit more of my Cajun seasoning in there. I don't put salt in my Cajun seasoning, so I can adjust the salt when I cook cook myself. So probably about a teaspoon, a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half there. Probably closer to our tablespoon I just put in. I don't measure anything. You can see it's getting it's getting there. Turn up the heat just a hair. So I want it to get to a simmer. Hopefully you guys can see that. Throwing in the parsley. So a lot of Italian food does pop up in Cajun and Creole cooking. There's a quite a Italian population in Louisiana in the Cajun country. So there's a lot of Italian influence and a lot of a lot of, a lot of the foods. There's also a lot of German in, uh, influence too. So I got this stirred up pretty good. Now I'm going to add the Parmesan. This is what makes the sauce right here. I should have got the plastic out before I started this video. I 
Here we go. Right. This. See how it's almost turned, start, it's already turned pink from the spices I put in there. Now we want to melt this cheese and our Alfredo sauce is done. Main thing is you really want to mix this cheese together as it melts so it doesn't clump up. So you got to stir it quite a bit. I'm going to turn the heat back up to medium really good. I think I hit that a little, a little too soon and dropped the temperature on this. All right. And that is an Alfredo sauce. I will show you what I do with the noodles next after I get the noodles cooked. Still got to get the cheese cooked down, or melted down a little bit. Yeah, the biggest trick is not to let your cheese clump up. All right, I'll come back when I get the noodles ready. Okay, now that I have my fettuccine done, I'm going to take this pasta. This will make probably two pots of, uh, what's that word, Alfredo. So I just take this. I'm going to move this a little closer so I don't make a mess. And just do that. probably do it. You can use any kind of pasta you want. I just like fettuccine for Alfredo because it really sticks to the noodles. Just mix it up. If you don't have enough sauce, just put more in. Oh yeah, that's going to be plenty of sauce. Alright, after I get this mixed up, I need, I'll come back and show you. And there we go. We got chicken, andouille, and tasso alfredo.